Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, we will look at how to create a 3D model using Paint 3D and we will understand how to convert this 3D model into what we will call as a 3D model file which we need to finally put into our software enabler with which we will be making our AR app or our VR app which is our virtual reality app and also our hologram app. Now starting with Paint 3D we need to create a 3D model file which is called as an FBX file. Now this FBX file before it is fed into enabler we need to size the 3D model or scale the 3D model using another 3D modeling software called as Blender. Now the reason behind this step is that the 3D model that is being generated by Paint 3D, the size is really small when we convert it into an AR app. So that is why we need Blender to help us with the sizing. So what we'll be doing is, we'll be creating a 3D model using Paint 3D. We'll be exporting or converting it into an FBX file. We'll be sizing that using Blender. And we'll be exporting this to another FBX file. And finally, we'll be integrating this with Enabler. So in today's lecture, we'll be looking at these two steps, which is creating a 3D model in Paint 3D and converting it into an FBX file, sizing it and finally creating the last FBX file which can be used in Enabler. Okay, I hope that is clear. So let's get started. So now we start off with our 3D shapes. I'm going to take a ready-made 3D shape here which is a dog. I will go ahead and create the dog here. So I clicked on just to revisit that step again. I clicked on dog. I left click here and I drag my mouse so that it creates a dog. So if you rotate it and see it is actually a 3D dog. Now let's go ahead and change the color so that it will be clear for us to see. Now this is the 3D model of a dog. This could be any 3D model that you have. Now that you have your 3D model now let us look at the step where we convert this into an FBX file. So we have our 3D model and now we are looking to convert this into an FBX file. I click on menu and we go ahead and say save as. Then we save it as a 3D model. It gives you an option of which file you want to save it as. So we will save it as a .FBX. The reason why we need to save it as a .fbx, it's because our Blender software needs an fbx file to scale the 3D model or to size the 3D model. So let's save this as dog underscore trial one. Now this is on my desktop. So our name is dog underscore trial. Let's go ahead and say save. Now once my 3D model is saved, our next step, if you remember, is to take this 3D model into Blender and we need to size it. So let's go ahead and start Blender. Now in the previous lecture, I've shown you how to download and install Blender. So you would have Blender installed on your computer. Let's go ahead and double click on Blender. And as I said in the installation video, do not get scared at looking at the interface of Blender, we are going to go step by step. In today's lecture, all we have to do is size the 3D model. That's all we are going to do. So do not get scared. Here, I've got some 3D cubes already in Blender. So I have to go ahead and delete them. So let's go ahead and select this. You hold the mouse and you drag it over these two objects. You right click on them and you say delete. You could also use the delete button on your keyboard. Now that we've cleared this scene, we need to import 
the 3D model of the dog that we created using Paint 3D. So I will click on File, I will click on Import, and I will click on FBX. Now the reason why I clicked on FBX is because the file that we saved from Paint 3D was a .fbx file. It was saved on the desktop, so let's go ahead and click on desktop. Now if you remember the name of the file, it was dog underscore trial dot fbx. Let's click on that and let's click on import fbx here. Now your 3D model is actually here, but if you remember I told you the size of the 3D model created by Paint 3D is really small. So now let's see how small it is. I will have to zoom in, keep zooming in. You can use the scroll of your mouse to keep zooming in and finally you can see the 3D model of your dog. You can see how small it is. So let's go ahead and click on this 3D model. Now this 3D model we have to size. The size of this 3D model. How do we do that? So let's go and put our mouse here. Now how do we size this? We bring our mouse here to the right part of the screen and there is a menu that can be dragged out it's called the transform menu and here you have a factor called a scale. Do not worry about the other parameters. Let's just focus on the scale. Let's go ahead and change these values to 10. Y axis as 10 and Z axis as 10. So once we are done with that, now if you see it looks like a big 3D model. So we got to zoom out. Now that you've increased the size of this 3D model, you must be noticing that the 3D model of the dog had blue color. Now in Blender, this blue color is not showing up. Do not worry. The blue color is already embedded into the 3D model. It's inside here. So do not worry about that. When we create the application using Enabler, the blue color shall show up. So what have we essentially done? We have taken the 3D model that we created using Paint 3D. We imported this using the import option. Then we sized this 3D model or scaled this 3D model using the transform section where we increase the scale here. And now the sizing is done. And we have the final step of this lecture where we will be saving this 3D model as another FBX file. So we do that using an export option where we export this FBX. Again, let's save it on the desktop. And I'm going to name this as dog underscore trial underscore scaled. And I will say export FBX. And now you see on my desktop, I have a scaled version FBX file, which is here. So to quickly revise what we've learned, we took a 3D model in Paint 3D. This was in Paint 3D. I exported an FBX file. Then I imported this FBX file into my Blender software. Now in Blender software, I scaled this 3D model. I changed the size. So did I increase the size or decrease the size? I increased the size. And finally, I exported this 3D model as an FBX file which is now ready for my enabler software. So in the next lecture, we will see how to take this 3D model and create different apps. So in one lecture, we will look at how to make an AR app using this FBX file. In another lecture, we will look at how to create a VR app. And in another lecture, we will look at how to create a hologram app using the same dog 3D model which we sized in this lecture. I hope this lecture was clear. 
I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.